Hi, I'm Jason from Byworth and I'm here with Dave Tilliard, our Chief Technician. Hi. And we just want to do a bit of a demonstration on how forming boiler conditions um, can affect your low level instrumentation. We've got a few varying technologies in this little test tank, um, which Dave will talk you through now. Hi right, so what we've got in front of us is a little test rig that I've been using with our service engineers. Currently, I've got uh, water which I've fed into it th from our boiler. So the conditions of the water in here at the moment are normal TDS that you'd expect in a boiler and normal pH that you would expect in a boiler. I have uh, a pressure transmitter at the bottom so I can tell from the pressure transmitter and the gauge that I'm at about 600 millimetres up the glass. Currently, the system thinks that we're in high water. That high water is coming off a capacitance probe into the tank. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to open the valve in the bottom of the tank. When I open the valve in the bottom of the tank, the water is going to start to drop out and the high water will go off. And what's opening the valve simulating on the boiler? Uh, simulating load, steaming load. So we've got steaming load on the boiler and now high water's uh, gone off and that has happened about here. So just by that uh, thick black mark, and that equates to about 59% on our guided wave radar. So that's 59%, 60 when I tap it. I'll open the valve again, and now what's gonna happen is the water's gonna continue to drop, and at some point in time, the feed pump's gonna need to come in and put some more water. So we're just gonna see, with no feed pump on it, but we're gonna see the light come on at the point. And again, that's off, the capacity, uh, that's off uh, some conductivity probes. So I've got a multiple tip conductivity probe around here and that multi-tip multi, multi -tip conductivity probe is sending the signal to start the feed pump, okay? We're just using different technologies just to show the difference and the things that are out there and available. So I'll open the valve again now and the next thing that's going to happen is uh, I'm going to get low water too. So low water too, this light here, is coming directly off a vibrating fork probe and that vibrating fork probe is uh, just out of the water. So it's just come out of the water. I'm now going to drop it a little bit further. And as I drop it a little bit further, not long, it's down on low water one. That low water one light is directly off a uh, high integrity conductivity probe. So one of these high integrity conductivity probes has just come out of the water and that's brought the light on. The water inside this tank, just for clarity, this is the water out of the tank and you can see at the moment there's very little foam on the top of that water. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to introduce some uh, foaming agent into the, uh, into the tank. I'm going to fill it back up again and when it's full I'm going to uh, give it a little bit of a whiz around with a whisk. So what's this simulating now? The feed water pump's starting? So the feed pump's started and the water's filling back up in the boiler. But we've got an overdosing with a chemical or we've got some issue with our chemical dosing into the system and it's creating a problem with the water quality in this boiler, unbeknownst to us. And what we're going to see, we're going to see what effect that has on these different technologies and if the lights and everything behave as they did in the first instance. I'll just put a little bit more of this in make sure it's what I wanted to do. And then what I will do, I'll refresh this with the sample out of the tank when I get a little bit higher. So where are we now in the tank? We are at 25% uh, and climbing. So 25% the next thing that's going to happen, obviously we're going in the opposite direction, so I'm expecting the, uh, the pump light to go off, simulating that we're at normal working level. Asking for a reset there, because the uh, alarms have cleared. Once the pump light goes off, the next thing that's going to happen is, the guided wave radar is telling me I'm at 40 odd percent. Once I get to about 60-70%, the high water is going to come on. I'll turn off the water once we get to that point and I'll take a sample of it and I'll show you what the conditions are inside the boiler and then we'll repeat that process and drop the water back out again. Not far now, 53% and rising. And what are you using and to agitate the water? I'm using just a, a, a flat blade on the, uh, on the drill 
is what I'm using, one of our apprentices made that for me. And the, the agent that I've added would simulate something like um, excessive uh, alkalinity builder or uh, increased TDS in the boiler. We get the same sort of results for either of those conditions inside the boiler. So we've gone to high water now, so I'll turn the water off. Uh, and what I'll do for your benefit, I will just take a little sample out of here. So we've got a drop cap. A drop cap. We've got a sample of the water that's in there at the moment, and that's the condition of the water inside the boiler. So we've got some uh, problem with the water treatment that is causing that to happen inside the boiler. And now what we're going to see is what happens when we drop that water back out. I'm going to agitate the water. It's going to make a little bit of noise. So I've got a little bit of foam in there now, uh, and there's quite a few, quite a few bubbles. It's probably about that height of uh, bubbles, maybe uh, 70 mil of bubbles in there. So let's see what happens when we drop the water. Remember, this high water light off was round, round about here somewhere. So let's see if that happens this time. So this is our capacitive device that's telling us that we're on high water. Still thinks we're on high water. Now look where we are. We've dropped below where it went off previously. Let's see how low it goes before that light goes off. We're still dropping. We're still dropping. We're still dropping. Now just bear with me here, but if you look at the guided wave radar, that seems to be reading the signal correctly. So that's dropped down from 60 to 40 over that last section. And as I drop the water, that seems to be responding reasonably well with the water. There we go. So that's where it thinks now, that is its new level where it thinks high water is. Much lower in the glass than it used to be. If that happened in your boiler, at this point in time, your pump isn't on, your burner's still firing, and we're getting near a dangerous condition. Let's see what happens next. So next... What's, what's key to look at next, just in terms of the indication on the low water Well, the next thing that should happen is the pump should come on, but also we should see... Uh, low water one and low water two go come on where they came on before. One of these is conductivity and one of them is vibrating force. So let's see what happens. So I'm expecting the pump to come on. That's what I would like to happen now because I'm running out of water. But that hasn't happened. I've gone way below that. And what I think is going to happen is I think I'm going to see this light come on. Yep, there we go. So that light has come on. That is on the vibrating fork. The vibrating fork is now sensing that it's come out of the water. The, the um, conductivity probe hasn't got a clue. The uh, multi-tip probe hasn't got a clue what's going on. And as we saw, the capacitance probe hasn't seen soft low water and it hasn't seen, uh, it didn't see the high water go off at the so correct the point. we've reached a low water condition without the pump yeah. So without the vibrating fork technology, this would be a critical condition and the burner would still be running and we'd be at the bottom of the glass. Yeah, no feed water into the boiler. No either. feed water into the boiler, that's correct. So we're going to take it further down and just see how long it takes for the... Yeah, we can do. Yeah, if that's what you want to do. We'll drop it down and see at what point. Right, soft low water, low water. It's lit up like a Christmas tree there. But that's here. And they all came on at once. If your boiler was steaming hard, uh, and that happened, you don't have a lot of time to respond before you've got a heating surface inside the boiler uh, exposed. It's about 10 minutes on the majority of boiler, boiler manufacturers, about 10 minutes between the bottom of the glass and exposing a heated surface. Okay. So it's keen to um, emphasize the, the sort of benefits of looking at new kind of technologies for low water. We've been using vibrating fork and guard wave radar for some time now. Um, it's against that kind of the industry standards, um, but there are extra safeties. It does provide extra safety on your boiler um, outside of your, your traditional conductivity probes, etc. And the benefits of diversity, not relying on one single technology to do all of your functions. Yeah. So I'll add a bit of a description to all this along with the video um, and feel free to comment, ask any more questions, challenge what we've done here. Um, welcome everything. Yeah. Cheers guys. Same goes for me. <laughs>